Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we modeled this lamp. And in this video, we're going to rig it using parenting and animate it. So let's go ahead and get started. And so the next step is to parent them. Let's go, I'm gonna move up the chain. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna select everything on the top. And the last thing, and remember when you parent things, we need to parent the child. We need to select the child first and then the parent. So select all the child items and then shift select the hinge will be the parent. So command P to parent and then hit object keep transform. That's one parent. I'm gonna select these two, shift select the hinge and do shift, I mean command P, keep set parent object keep transform one more time select the child and then the parent which is the hinge command p object keep transform and one last one this one and then the base is a parent so command p to parent keep transform so we have one two three one two three four sets of parents if we grab this one hinge and we rotate it, everything comes with it, which is acting good. In fact, if I select this hinge and I rotate it, well, the two, the two child are coming with, they're rotating with the parent, but not this. So we have to do another set of parenting. I'm gonna undo that. So we need to do another round of parenting and this will be the child for this parent. So the hinge to the hinge, command P, and then this one will be the child, let me move this up, to this one. So this will be the child to this one, command P, keep transform, and then lastly, this one, oops, this one will be the child to this one command P so the very very base the very very top of the parent uh, hierarchy is the base so if I rotate the entire base or move it if I just move the, the base I move everything see that I move everything the entire lamp goes with it which that sh that's the way it should work if I move if I rotate this hinge Everything on top of it, not the base, but everything on top of it is rotating. That's good. This hinge, everything on top of that works. And then lastly, this hinge, everything on top of that works. And that's cool. That's the, that's all the parenting. This lamp is ready to be animated. Oh, except for one thing. We forgot to add a light bulb. And so let's go ahead and add a, a light bulb to it uh, really quick. I'm gonna go to front front view and then I am going to do shift A to add a light. And I'm gonna add a spotlight. You can see that it's pointing down, that's okay. We're gonna rotate this. We're gonna rotate this uh, 180 degrees pointing up. And then we're going to move it, uh, G, Z to move it up and I'm going to put it roughly where that uh, light bulb starts. I'm going to zoom in, hit period. And then if you hit Z, you can go to uh, wireframe and then turn on X-ray. And I can see that it's inside my light bulb. I'm going to move it down just a little bit more. I'm going to do G, Z and I'm going to move it to there. One more thing that I'm gonna to do to this light bulb, uh, or to the light, not the actual light bulb, but to the light, is I am going to adjust the angle. So I'm gonna to go to its properties, light properties, and here is the angle, right here, size. You can also grab this blue arrow and adjust the angle, and you can also do it here um, in the size. So I'm gonna adjust it to fit kind of my uh, housing, and that's fine. The other thing that I wanna do 
is, check this out, guys. If I grab this and I rotate it, the light bulb doesn't come with. So I need to grab the light bulb and I need to parent it to the hinge. So child first and then the parent, command P to parent, keep uh, transform. And then, so when we grab the parent and rotate it, that light comes with. Cool. Now, we have to fix one thing. We have to fix one little thing about this light bulb. Um, and you'll know, you'll see it here in a minute. I'm gonna um, turn on this grid again, the floor. I'm gonna give this floor a color. So I hit new, just a, a beige, like that. Just so that we can uh, distinguish it from the lamp. So I'm gonna select the, the housing here. I'm gonna do a material and I'm gonna give it a little bit of metallic and cut down on the on the roughness and I'm gonna apply it to all of the uh, the body parts thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here uh, using lights so that we can see this light and um, bring down the strength of the uh, of the uh, HDR and I'm gonna put this light somewhere else uh, I'm gonna put it up here somewhere let me go I'm gonna put it up here. Yeah. And I'm going to increase. There we go. So that we can see the effect of this spotlight. This lamp material, let's uh, make it a little bit less white, a little bit more metallic. so that we could see some highlights. Um, also, I'd like to go ahead and shade smooth everything, except for the floor. And then, also, maybe not these, these look a little weird. Turn on auto smooth for that one. Turn on auto smooth for that one. And I think we could turn on auto smooth for these. Auto smooth for these. That way, we can go to this lamp material and crank up the metallic, but also crank down the roughness and crank up the metallic. The thing I, we need to change the image here. Maybe this one or this one. about that one that looks good we can see the reflections 
and now let's animate it. So we're on frame one. I'd like to push this one. Uh, actually, I want to select all of the uh, parents here, the hinges and the base and create a keyframe on frame one. So I'm going to hit the uh, I to insert keyframe and we're going to insert the keyframe for uh, location and translate. I mean, location and rotation. Boom. Right there on every single parent. On frame 20, we're going to make this lamp a bend to its normal position. And so we're going to start with a lower hinge and I'm going to turn on auto keyframe. And so I'm going to go back, click the second one, go forward and then click the third one, the last one, and then push it down. Now, a couple things happen. A, we've animated it. No big deal. Uh, there's a couple things that need to be addressed. If you notice, uh, I created the uh, color for the lamp. Um, you saw me do it. Not a big deal. It's called lamp. But I didn't do it for the light bulb. So I'm going to click on the light bulb. Click uh, smooth. Shade smooth. And I am going to create a material for this. Uh, light bulb and this material will be let me see I'm gonna call it light bulb it's gonna be white um, and it's also has to be uh, has to emit a light so emission emission strength uh, let's crank this up and let's click white so that you can see that it's turned on. Now that the light bulb seems to be turned on, the only other thing is that I don't see the effect of the light hitting the floor. Uh, we have the light here. Uh, maybe it's because we need to crank it up. So even if we crank it up to 5,000, we still don't see it. And the reason we don't see it is because it's inside the light bulb and the light bulb is casting a shadow. So it's not, it's almost like putting a light inside of a box and turning it on and you won't see the effect. It's inside of a box. That's the effect that's happening here. It's inside of the light bulb. And so you're not seeing the effect of the light out here. So if we select the light bulb and we go to the materials, go all the way down and the shadow mode is opaque, we need to remove this so that it lets the, sh the light shine through. So in other words, this light bulb is not casting any shadows. And so now we see the effect of the light. Boom, there it is. And that's it. I'm just going to, and then hit the play button. And that's it guys, uh, we've modeled we also rigged this lamp by creating the hierarchy, the, the uh, parenting, the hierarchies. It's right here. You can see the hierarchy here. And there it is. Uh, we've parented a light to it also. And then we animated it. And we animated it by rotating the parents, the hinges. And so there it is, guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.